giant magnet. It attracts you to it. Whether you have it or not, you'll know if you're attracted to one. I love one. I love I love the food. I love how the air smells. I love how the sound of it, you know, how quick the Uber car comes around, you know, whatever. I don't care. I love everything. Everything is always on point. It's a place where you can go and you're surrounded by art, surrounded by artists, and then just the, the energy that you feel when you're down there. If you wanted to come at me in 2009 and say, do you want to perform in Wimbledon? I'd probably tell you no. <laughs> you know, but you know, not now in 2015, even back in 2013, you're like, holy shit, we're gonna perform in Wynwood. That's awesome. Like, you know, we're gonna gain exposure. We're gonna gain fans. We're gonna gain popularity. with they cut off his water and so I filled up from my water tap uh, like six or seven gallon jugs worth of water so that he could bathe his girls so they could go to school clean you know and when I talked to them about it they explained that their rent had gone up and it had only gone up like fifteen dollars but that was sort of make it or break it for them basically changing, you know, the rent, the people, you know, that that initially lived here for years, you know, they just had to leave. Now the residents that got kicked out of here, some of the residents that got kicked out of here, um, some of them wanted to leave because they were tired of, you know, all of the noise and parking issues. Um, but then this area used to have prostitutes and drug dealers. I mean, there was crackheads everywhere around here. Or you think the only thing about the positive side is people saying that we just like the police attention. If you talk to their owners, the actual proprietor of the police, they'll say, oh yeah, the police crap out of the gangbangers south of 29th Street. They just keep them away from the galleries. But they don't stop any of the heroin dealing, any of the heroin dealers that are riding their BMX bikes up and down North 2nd Avenue right in front of the all boys school. Well, they're not the same people. They're not the same protection of the art scene. When you get people who aren't from your city coming into your city, trying to claim your city, rebuild your city, reformat your city, you're going to have a lot of aggression, you're going to have a lot of, you know, animosity towards those people. You built one in the middle of the hood and you're complaining about the black people at the bottom of the stairs. I'm like, this is what it would look like if you weren't here. Like, it's the hood. They're going to come, they're going to do hood things, believe it or not. But they're well behaved, well cultured, well educated people with good hearts that have a right to win with. They are a black community that has a right to come back into the black community that was gentrified. I see art on my left, hate on the right, ignorant propaganda filled with insight. I'm like, no, no, telling them to go, go. I've done in Winwood was scratch a message in wet cement that said you criminalize surrounding communities with profit off the street culture. It really was, uh, you know, there was an art cultural movement, but that got taken over by consumers. It's turning more into a mall. It's, it's becoming brickle -er by the day. Uh, it's become more mainstream where there's just a lot of people down there that's not down there for the art, more just the beers, the booze, and the women. If you're going to define an art district in terms of a district 
that's highly participatory of artists, right, themselves, that's led by artists, that has thriving artist organizations, that is in the benefit of and in the interest of artists, especially grassroots artists, right, that's for the development of young artists, that doesn't appear to be the case in Winwood.